you able to work with me on price? I can just add everything up and kind of see where you're at. Yep. Check this neighborhood out, guys. I've never been in here. This is nice. Some really big houses. How much is your book? Um, five. Okay, yeah, I think I'll pass on that. You ever left a sale and you say to yourself, they're gonna have all that stuff when that sale's over. That was one of those sales. Half of it was like they cleared out an antique booth, like their antique booth or something, but the problem was prices were pretty much like antique booth prices, not garage sale prices. <laughs> she had this uh, vintage like, little baseball pamphlet thing it's really nothing special and it was in really bad condition like it was the binding was torn off like it was just barely holding together but I like that kind of stuff I'll stick it in my display case at home I'm a sucker for old baseball stuff whether it's worth anything or not so it didn't even have a price on it I'm thinking this will be like a buck you know 50 cents something and I said how much do you want for it she said five dollars thinking nope you're gonna still have this when the sales over and all this other crap that you've got overpriced but hey we got 11 more to go to so let's get after it um, well, and then there's a door that goes into the screen and porch okay uh the door the, up the ramp in the door you're in a kitchen living room combination room okay. and it's good size it's probably the linen closet living room area would you take five for your boom box Sure. All right. I don't even know what's on it. What's it say on it? Ten. Yeah, we'll take one. All right. Here you go, ma'am. Oh, thank you. All right. There's like 30 cars parked on this street for this estate sale. This is going to be a mess. Can I ask you a question about this? Sure. Well, I waited 10 minutes to get in there. Now I'm getting rained on. All I found was these things. Little uh, stands. They lost again. 13 innings. I know. <laughs> Guy asked me how the Reds did last night. <laughs> yeah, the Reds are struggling, but the season's early. So yeah, I didn't find much of anything in there. And this wasn't worth it. Every time I wait in line for an estate sale, I ask myself, what could I be finding in a garage sale? But I think I'm gonna swear off estate sales on the first day they're open. Cause everything's usually too priced too high. And I was waiting in line to get there. So no more estate sales on the first day. Well, it's 10.30 now. I wasted about 30 minutes without a estate sale between waiting in line and walking through to see all their outrageous prices on things. So I've got eight more sales left on my list. Three of them are state sales that are professionally run. So I'm just gonna scratch them off the list. There's too many other good sales to go to and it's already getting late in the day. So I'm not gonna waste my time with first day estate sales when there's other garage sales to go to. So I think honestly the best strategy for estate sales is just go on like the second day, the last day, or if you're gonna go the first day, I guess either get an early number, you know what I mean, if they're gonna pass out numbers, but I just have not had a whole lot of luck with estate sales on the first day. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Do you guys go to estate sales? Do you do well? What am I missing? What's what's the strategy? I don't know about in other parts of the country, but in my area, there are some shady estate sale companies. What they do is they have these contracts they work out with the families. And they tell them, yeah, we're gonna try to get the most money for your stuff, we're gonna, you know, price it high, whatever, and then they do a deal where whatever doesn't sell, the estate sale company gets it for, you know, pennies on the dollar. So some of these estate sale companies don't want the stuff to sell. Some of the, the better stuff, they don't want it to sell because they're gonna put it in their antique booths, they're gonna put it on eBay. It's just, it's really shady and they're not doing a justice for the family. Um, they're not all like that, obviously, but I've caught some doing the very thing, so. I just don't waste my time with them anymore. My phone just made three or four cha-chings in a row. I looked down and somebody was buying up my 
Lionel Train stuff. So I sent him a message saying, you know, thanks for your purchases. Um, I will combine shipping and refund you the difference. And, you know, I've got some other train stuff for sale in the store as well. And he responded and said, yeah, I actually saw the train stuff on your YouTube video. So that's pretty cool. Uh, his name's Cliff. I guess he buys train stuff and everything. And he's, uh, I got, I got, I got the truck pieces on auction. I think he's bidding on those too. So pretty cool. So Cliff, thank you for buying the train stuff, man. And thanks for watching the videos. Anytime you guys are selling multiple items, in the same category, um, always make sure like in your description you put, you know, I'll combine shipping. Because for one, it'll be easier for you to ship it all in one box instead of multiple boxes. And two, you'll make more sales that way. Would you do five on the drum kit? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Right, now we got a church sale. I love church sales. Wow, look at this whole building. Oh my goodness. How much is your bike? Oh, the exercise bike? Yeah. I think we were going to put 20 on it. 20 bucks? A Schwinn Airdyne exercise bike I just loaded up. I paid 20 bucks for it. I think I've sold probably 50 of those in the last 15 years. I used to sell them straight to plate against sports when I worked there because we couldn't keep them in the store and I'd always make good money on them. And now I just put them on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. That one I think I can get between 100 and 150 dollars for. Yes, they're heavy. Yes. They're kind of a pain in the ass, but if I can make between $80 and $130, I think it's worth the work. The rain is coming down pretty good now. I've only got two or three sales left on my list, but I'm going to see if they're open and we're going to close the day out strong. Okay, the next sale we're going to was advertised as a storage facility and they're cleaning out the delinquent lockers. People are in pay for their stuff, so they pulled it all out and they're selling it. They might have already pulled out the best stuff, but who knows, we're gonna go find out. What do I owe you for all this? Oh, okay, what do you get? What's on that? I couldn't find a price on that box. What is it? It's like a um, digital converter thing. Oh, how about two bucks? Okay. Two, that's four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, two dollars. We should make a ten for everything? Yeah. All right, I appreciate you working with me. Yeah, no problem. There you go, thank you. you. I guess I misread that ad. They weren't delinquent units. It's just the complex lets the people have garage sales out of their units, which is pretty cool. Did pretty good at the one. Spent ten dollars and got some good stuff. Just didn't find anything in that other one that I can make any money on. This cloud does not look good. Look at that. Do you have the water gun that goes with this? Um, is it in there? It's my husband. Yeah, okay. You, you know what he wants for it? I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah, it looks like it's in there. Do you know what you wanted for the McDonald's set? Um, it says make offer, so I don't know what he thinks. Okay. Okay, I can ask him. Sir, what did you want for your water gun? Um, I was thinking like five bucks. Okay, and then how about the um, Mc McDonald's play set? So I'm, I'm, yeah. going on. I'm a little I probably bit, got five. That's I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I can tell you I get a lot more, but um, I was hoping to get like 80 out of it. Okay. Yeah. Are you selling your drone? Uh, it's yeah. There's no drone in it. It's the drone went in the lake. But there's a controller and a case and okay. a battery. What do you? I need you. What are you wanting for all of it? 20 bucks. If I do the 20, will you throw in the water gun? 22. Deal. Appreciate you working with me. First sale of the day, guys. Vintage Super Soaker 2000 with the original box. I had this thing when I was a kid. And a uh, drone case with a bunch of accessories. Uh, paid $22 for everything. He had a vintage McDonald's play set, but it seemed like he pretty much knew the value of it. He was saying he wanted $80, and they go for, you know, like $120, $150, something like that on eBay, but sometimes it's free shipping, and to ship that thing will cost a lot, so I just don't think there's a lot of money to be made. The more valuable one is actually a newer model, I believe, that was made that goes for like $250, $300. So if you guys see McDonald's play sets, keep an eye out. I thought that was actual beer for a second. That was funny. The weight is like perfect. It's like, I'll buy a beer for a quarter. Just picked up this Pelican case. It's, a, uh, it's like a backpack. He was asking 20, I got it for 12. Like a built-in tablet case. This thing's pretty nice. I think they primarily make um, like big cases, like hard shell cases for cameras. And I've sold a couple of those. I've never seen a backpack like that. Looked like it was going for about thirty-five or forty. Sir, how much is your gate? Uh, Five dollars. I'll take it. You have any like sporting goods, baseball stuff, softball? Uh, I just sold some softball Did you? stuff. That's the only thing I pretty much got left. Is this five position team. All right. How much is your bat speaker? Uh, ten. Did you ever use it? No, I didn't. I bought it and I went to go put it in. Never got around to it. <laughs> We're not allowed back. Yeah. <laughs> How much is your uh, speaker, your radio? Uh, 25 on that because the CD player doesn't work. She was like double jointed, but it ended up it ended up biting her in the butt because it caused a problem. Set her shoulder right. was yeah. too loose. Yeah. If um I do this for Tim, would you do the post for fifteen? Right. Bye. See these these are so twenty five for both. I've never known. Okay. Okay, I appreciate it, man. You can plug the bars in if you want. Oh, I trust you, and I paid you for the gate already. Oh, excuse me, sorry. How much are your puzzles? Uh, the ones that are unopened, I'd like to get two dollars for the unopened. Two dollars each? Yeah. I'll do that. And then uh, a quarter for the ones that are open. Okay. So you four bucks. So juice. Hey, What's up, buddy? Hi, man. <laughs> Trying anything? Uh, a little bit. Not yeah? a whole lot, man. How about you? A couple things. Cool. Guys, this is Shad Juice. Hey, guys. Check out his YouTube channel. He's a video game specialist. What's up? Check me out. <laughs> this rain kind of sucks a little bit. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna rain. I didn't think it was either. Reject that one. Oh, I can show you what he does. He's right here. <laughs> you really like him. Stand him up here. Alrighty. You really. This is my my grandkids just love this thing. Right here, this town. Let's see. 
Where is it? You push this thing. Bert, I just showed you the other day where it was. Yeah. Yeah, find it. Uh, go up a little bit. The scene he turned oh, on. Here, here, there he is. Now watch. Watch his eyes and he wiggles and scare the cat. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. Thank you. I'll take him. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. Thank Let's you, ma'am. Let's get you a bag. You want a bag? Sure. Okay. Morning. Oh, good. Hi. How Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I'm just sitting here texting. Hey, puppy. Are your riverfront seats for sale? No. Yeah. <laughs> I got a set too, and I'm not selling mine. Yeah, yeah. No, those are good. Those are pretty. Good. Actually, we have like uh, uh, wooden things on it, and my son-in-law just bought some that are Last month, Paul things bragged for to put on the earth. Oh, yeah? Drug one of them out of the back of the woods. We're like, okay, my husband just threw it back there. I'm like, wait a minute, this is crazy. Right. So now we just got a power wash and, you know, clean them up now. Yeah. For the weather, for the winter, summer, whatever it is. Um, would you take five bucks for three controllers? Um, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm yeah. pay you for them and I'll leave them there if that's okay. Yes. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. If I make a pile of stuff, can you work with me on price? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, Didn't mean I'm to. Sorry, I don't know why. Uh, okay, yeah, that'll work. There was a couple bells I put over there. I saw yeah, those, those were 10, 10 a piece. Bucks. Yeah. Cool. You able to work with me on price? I can just add everything up and kind of see where you're at. Yep. So. Oh man, that chair. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man, that pump is cool. I just noticed this bicycle pump. This thing is it does, awesome. It, what did you say? It needs new baffles. The, uh, yeah. So the. I mean, I'll just hang it on the wall. I mean, it's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do something with it if it's if you're just wanting to get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so five and five is ten. I think you said 15 a piece on those. Correct. That's 40, 44, 54, 64, 67, and then those were 10 a piece and make it 87. Okay. Can do 75 for all of it? Sounds like a deal. All right. Appreciate you working with me. Sure. Appreciate you taking stuff. Away. Yeah, I'm gonna, if it's okay, I'll just back my van right up. Yep, that works. Um, you have a five, I got 80. When you have to back up, the van to load everything up that you bought it's a good sale wow that was a great sale they didn't start until 10 o'clock and it's 12 30 right now so i think that's what happened is people just saw how late it started and nobody went to it he had a lot of motorcycle stuff so i bought four helmets i got two vintage bell helmets that had some awesome graphics on them and then i got two shark helmets i think for the sharks i could get 125 a piece for I paid 15 for those. Actually, I bundled everything, so I made a big pile of stuff, and they were asking 87, we settled on 75. I was happy to pay it, because I'm gonna make a killing on that stuff. I'll pull it all out when I get back and show you guys. Hey guys, it's now Sunday. I uh, meant to do videos for Thursday, Friday, Saturday garage sales, and just didn't really happen, so we're just gonna put them all into one. I didn't really film any of the sales on Saturday, but I got a lot of good stuff, so. I'm gonna pull out most of what I got that I didn't show you already in the clips for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Got this Lexmark ink, new in the packaging for a dollar. I don't know why, but 
Lexmark for some reason I can never find any kind of expiration or like warranty dates or anything like that like I do with HP ink so it's a nice thing not to have to worry about probably should get at least 15 or 20 bucks for these I've got the Sony cassette player like radio thing they had two bucks on it but I bought something else and just had them throw it in for free I've got this uh, sailboat model for three dollars I usually do pretty good with those I've got this whole series of Davy and Goliath DVD set for two bucks. Got one of these little GPS trackers. It is a Garmin e -Trex. I paid two bucks for it. I think I've sold some of these in the past, usually for like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. I know a lot of people do geocaching with these things where you hide something in the woods, kind of like a, like a novelty item, you know, some kind of like trinket or something. And then you enter in the coordinates of it on a website and then people use these to try and go out and find it. Kind of fun. Okay, on Friday, the last sale of the day, I like loaded my van with a ton of really good stuff. I bundled everything and paid 75 bucks for all of it. I got two of these bags. Um, the brand is Hartman. I didn't really know anything about them, but I looked them up and it seems like they're selling pretty well. At another sale I got that's pet safe collar, uh, new in the packaging for like 10, I think it was. I got a bundle deal, so I didn't pay the 15. These are really cool. Tommy Lee drumsticks, uh, the drummer from Motley Crue. I paid 10 bucks for them. They have a display case. I don't know if they're ones that he used or if it was just like his model of drumstick, but either way, I thought they were pretty neat and I'm gonna have to look them up and do a little bit of research on them. I got a bunch of RC batteries and battery chargers. Got them for 50 cents a piece. They're not huge money makers, but they do sell, especially like the, the officially licensed ones. Like this is the Nico brand. I think they're all the Nico brand. I can typically get 10 to $15 a piece for these little things. So you could keep an eye out for these. You can always find them for like 25 cents, 50 cents and you can get some decent money for them. On Thursday, when I bundled all that stuff for $10 at that storage unit, a couple of those pieces, here's like a Harley Davidson emblem, got a Polaroid camera. In my last video, I talked about sending in a Polaroid to Retrospect, and literally the next day after my video posted, Retrospect announced that they're not buying cameras anymore. I guess they have enough, so. Sorry guys, I guess I jinxed the whole retrospect buying cameras thing, but you can still sell them on eBay. I uh, got this in the bundle deal, so I probably paid a couple bucks, like a piece of film sticking out of this one. All right, this guy right here. I found a pretty good number of these. These are digital converter boxes. About like eight, nine years ago, I think it was, the government, issued credits for these when all the signals switched from analog to digital so you could go out and get one of these for pretty much nothing and a lot of people did and now you can find them you know new in the packaging a lot of times ended up only paying a couple bucks for this because it was in the bundle and I should get 30 maybe a little bit more because I think it's new in the box so look out for digital analog converters a lot of people that still have older TVs are buying these all right, here's some of the bigger stuff I got. I got this big rolling cart for 15 bucks. This shelf actually pulls up. So I'm gonna make another shelf there and it's gonna help me transfer stuff around in the basement as I'm working. This might be the coolest thing I found on Saturday. This is a watch winder and display case. It holds 20 watches and those spin. So some watches uh, get charged up by motion and that's why they made these. Watch cases. Hey, buddy. Got this boom box on Thursday for five bucks. Uh, got this keyboard for a couple dollars. Here's those helmets. I picked up the shark. Here is another shark. This is the Evo Line Series 3. I think I'm probably going to get like 130 or 140 for that one. Maybe 100 or so for this one. Two vintage bell helmets. 
with some really good graphics. These are all part of that $75 bundle at that sale. Got a lot of golf clubs on Saturday. King Cobra driver, Tylus fairway wood. There's some Tommy Armour irons. Another Callaway driver, the ping putter. Some FootJoy golf shoes in here, and the bag is a Titleist, so I'm gonna take that to play it against sports. For all the golf clubs, I think I paid about 30 bucks. Got this Babe Ruth commemorative bat. Louisville Slugger, I paid $2 for that. And if you guys saw my most recent sold video, I sold this bat. Just sold the same bat for $59.99, and I just found another one yesterday. I paid four dollars for it. It is the Redline softball bat, 34 inches long, and no dents or cracks. So I'm gonna clean it up and put it up for $59.99. Just a couple more things. I got the Singer sewing machine, it is the Merit 4525. I paid five bucks for it. Cops are looking pretty good. I'm thinking $50 maybe. Then I got this Yamaha keyboard for $10 with the original box. Very clean, has the styrofoam. This particular model, the PSS 470, is selling pretty high. I'm thinking around 60, 70 bucks I should be able to get for it. And at that same sale, I got a Cracker Jack sign. He's made of enamel, but he's still a reproduction. Andy Rooney's porcelain enameled advertising signs. Paid a buck for that. Almost forgot, I got these two pieces at that big sale where I bundled everything for $75. They're asking 10 a piece on these, so after the bundle, I might have paid $8 a piece. This is a Nakamichi cassette deck. I've sold some Nakamichi stuff before in the past and done really well. I don't know what it's worth, but I saw the brand and I grabbed it. This is a Yamaha YP211 turntable. Looks like it comes with extra stylus or something. I don't even know if that's what that's called, to be honest. Need to educate myself on turntables, but I saw these are selling pretty well. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.